So our product is a personalised tour of the uh, MSHED Museum. So the idea is people come in the front door and they say what they're interested in and then it will show them a personalised route through the museum of all the things that interest them. So our project is a audio story mapping uh, concept. So basically uh, visitors of the museum can attach a personal story through the use of a, a dictaphone and then attach it to a physical point on the map. So the idea is that people can record historical facts or memories and then record them through these physical markers and then attach them on the floor of the M-Shed is an overview map of Bristol and then they can attach their physical marker to a specific point that they relate to. So it's about engaging uh, visitors within the museum and having a more personal connection to the exhibits. We're University Challenged and we wanted to make the 7,000 artefacts in the warehouse publicly available. We decided to do this by creating a dim lit environment using UV lighting and neon paint to light the pathways to the artefacts. However, during one of our visits we found that constraints included cost, so we got rid of the UV lighting and the neon paint and used LED lighting as you can see here. When somebody finds um, an artefact that they like, they press a button which lights up our artefact um, and then they can use the app we have on display here um, to find out more information about the artefact uh, by scanning a QR code and then they can see more videos and images of the artefact during its prime. Another constraint we had is if we're going to issue tablets to the public, how are we going to ensure they're kept safe? So we created this. This is a rubber uh, case for the iPad, so if a child was to throw it or drop it in an accident, it's still okay. Once you've seen the information for each artefact, you can save that, enter your email, and then you'll be able to look upon the information later if you so wish. So our project's a archive and it's basically a way to bring out a load of the artefacts that are stored in the archive at MSHED and uh, allow you to check them out on a tablet device in 3D. So um, there's a lot of really cool stuff at the M Shed, and one of the biggest problems is that there's just not enough space to bring all of it out. So we figured that if we had a dome or something similar with multiple target images on, people could scan them and check out what's in there, but in 3D, as we'll show you now. So if you can see that, um, it brings up a 3D representation of the thing that's in the archive, and uh, you can kind of play with it a little bit and zoom in and out and um, try and get in a little bit closer. Uh, what we're going to try and work towards is having a text overlay as an option so you can read a bit about the 3D model you're checking out or even having an audio option and then bringing in a kind of voting system so that the MSHED can know which artifacts that visitors really like that they can then work towards maybe bringing out every so often. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our project, the archive. Well, here is our interactive puzzle game. Here we wanted to promote co-play and co-learning between parents and children at museum exhibits. We felt that we wanted the parent and child to learn together. So here we have created a system. It is a simple puzzle game um, integrated with audio streams and augmented reality. The augmented reality will give um, the, the child an animation of a pirate. And while the child places the puzzle pieces over the puzzle, they will get um, facts and history about Bristol and the parent will get a separate audio stream of the facts uh, about Bristol and it promotes having a conversation between the parent and the child. Okay, so um, this is grappling. Um, we initially visited M Shed um, and we noticed uh, there was a sort of lack of representation of graffiti in the installations there. So our idea is there's this tunnel in Bristol called the St. Werberg's Tunnel, which is a legal graffiti wall, you can see on there. Um, and what we wanted to do is show the artwork within the environment of M Shed itself. So we'd create a little tunnel um, that people can walk into, and with 360 cameras in the uh, original tunnel, uh, we'd rear project uh, the live view back on into the environment of the M Shed. Um, so this allows you to walk in and kind of experience it, um, and then We'd have a little interactive wall, you won't be able to see that, it's at the end. Um, but where people can actually create their own and contribute their own artwork to the, <coughs> to the tunnel. So it allows people to learn and experience the whole thing, really. Welcome to Bristol by Balloon! 
So we started off by um, visiting MSHED to see uh, the current systems and we found that some of the systems were very outdated, as you can see here. Our research is based on reducing car use and increasing um, physical activity in University French Air Campus. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we research UV strategies and policies, as well as transport modes about um, in UE. Also interviewed the students and came up with a prototype called uh, My Steps, which rewards students for walking. Uh, it tracks the amount of steps um, student takes each day and he can then exchange those steps for uh, the different dis discounts in UE shops. Um, this is our wireframe and uh, these are all the pages. So <laughs> UE student has to log in, uh, then he has a tracker which tracks their steps and then he can exchange their steps for the healthy options. Um, we also have got the prototype. You just um, log in and then once you log in, you're using a UE email and then after that you get to track your, your steps, your calorie burns, your distance travel and also you can set your daily goals there um, and then you can go to menu, um, you can go to promotions and see what you've achieved during the day and see what is on the promotion that day and you have um, the amount of steps uh, and the time um, and then if you, want it, if you want this promotion, you can get it now and you get a, like a promo code and um, show it to the to the restaurant or cafe around uni, and that's it. So, but if you want to bookmark it, just click bookmark, and then you can see what you saved, and then see which one you want on that day and stuff. So that's that's it. That's basically it. Yeah.